Oh yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh! Hello there, my dear friends. Looks like you caught me reading. You know, ancient literature is just the best. You know, I don't really specifically have a favorite because there's just so much to choose from, but, you know, I really do fancy Greco-Roman literature, you know, especially the Aeneid, and the Odyssey, and the Iliad, and the Aeneid, and the Holy Bible, and the Aeneid. Don't worry, trust me. It works. Which is the reason I'm assuming you're here, you know, to learn about the Aeneid. Because, you know, I'm a master in such arts. <laughs> Don't worry. It's sweet tea. Every great story has usually an equally great origin story. You know, long before the author puts the pen to paper, or I guess the stylus to the clay, or tells the story to the masses, but you know what I mean. Before the poet begins his poemy. You know, it's really interesting. Unlike a lot of legends that were told throughout the years, like the Iliad, you know, like the Odyssey. The Aeneid had more of a copycat legend origin story. Virgil, come at us. Ah, my master, what is it that you want? I want you to write a poem in story format for me. Okay, I'll just have it by you. No, 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 not just your average story. I want you to write an epic, poetic story. In, in story format? <laughs> Virgil, Virgil, my sage of sages, my uh, poetic master, I want you to write an epic story because the Roman Empire, since I've been in office, hasn't really done too much for me. And I want to really give it a name that will last throughout the ages. So like, a, like an Odyssey or like an Iliad? Yes, like an Odyssey or an Iliad. Yes, exactly like that. But... I want you to bash the Greeks. I just really don't like the Greeks very much. And, uh, Understandably. Yes. They're just... Uh, I just hate, hate to think about them. Alright, I want Dwayne Johnson to punch a bull in the face and have it go down with one blow. <laughs> wow. Do you, do, you, do you think you could do that for me? Oh, yeah, I could, yeah. Oh. What are these unpeeled grapes? Am I a bull or something? In every epic, there is a stereotypical hero. He's strong, smart, and a womanizer. Greek heroes such as Odysseus are a lot like their Roman rivals. They both have a great crew that follows them. They both go on great extravagant adventures, and their adventures have divine intervention from the gods. Since the Aeneid is basically a propaganda against great Greek epics such as the Odyssey, it makes sense that Virgil takes several different jabs at these ancient pieces of literature. I'm a pretty big deal. I'm not conceited though, I'm a righteous hero with a multi-dimensional character. Uh, not really. You have almost no personality, arguably, and Odysseus was such a cooler character. I, you have to admit, I have gone through several character developments. Oh, well, let me check. It's just over here, hold on. Uh, uh well... I guess in book six you finally get your act together after you visit your dad in Hades, but that's really it. What are you talking about? I'm the actual person I would know if I went through character developments. Well, you're irrelevant. Odysseus is still my favorite hero. Oh yeah, like that one time I left one of his crew members on that island with that crazy cyclops. I mean, I guess I do have a little bit of a bias towards Greek literature. Anyway. There are a lot of questionable things that Aeneas does throughout the Aeneid. Let's take a look at a few. 
Listen, I know Troy has fallen, but wifey, I'm gonna need you to stay about a mile back because I don't want to, you know, ruin my bide and guys at the bar will kind of start to ask questions about me and I just don't really want to ruin my, uh, my uh, image. So I'm gonna need you to about stay about a mile back and just follow me and watch what I do. But for Hey, Dido. What's up, babe? So, uh, how have you been? You ruined my life. <laughs> I, I killed myself because I, you left. I think we can all put that behind us. Dido, where are you going? Hey, come on. We both did things. But I guess on a more serious note. The Aeneid's real meaning, or its purpose, is more about the destiny, the theme of destiny. Aeneas started out in the country of Troy, who had just been taken over by the Greeks, and he makes a heroic venture to Italy to found Rome, which is now one of the greatest empires known to man. And although it is a copycat legend, and although there are some silly gags about Aeneas in there, you know, it does give you a little bit of pairing.